So I'm going to Scotland tomorrow. Um, just finished packing my bike. I'm really excited. I'm also a bit scared. I hope it doesn't rain too much. Yeah. So I've been thinking about going to Scotland for quite a while since yeah you've all seen these beautiful pictures up there. So I thought well I'm already studying in the UK, what better opportunity than this? It's Easter break so I packed my stuff, booked a one-way train ticket and went off. I changed trains in Edinburgh, took another one to Helensburgh and set off from there. I just had roughly planned to get to Inverness and the rest was improvised. So it is a beautiful evening. The sun is uh, shining still back there, flowers are blooming on the side of the road and yeah, I'm just um, coming out of Helensboro and I'm now going to cycle maybe half an hour until the sun is setting and then I'm gonna put up my tent and yeah, I'm really looking forward for the coming week. Nice to be in the tent. I'm just eating a, a lentil curry and yeah it's not too late. I'm gonna go to bed early and I'm really excited for tomorrow. Good morning. Yeah so I realized that I haven't packed enough warm clothes for sleeping. It was a pretty cold night um, and the next night's uh, supposed to be even colder. Gonna have to see how I uh, get on there. Um, today I'm gonna to see how far I get. Um, I gotta get some water and gotta to go to a supermarket. Gonna ride along the coast a lot. So this second day was when the tour really started. And what I noticed right away was that the roads were really good, but often really steep as well. I mean, I didn't expect on my uh, first real day in Scotland to have uh, yeah, such an amazing view. I took the little uh, military road. Yeah, it's a bit steeper here. For an hour or so I rode through this really cool and dark pine tree forest that looked really a lot like Scandinavia, especially with all the moss. On this road there was a lot of tree cutting going on. By the way the road was not closed between 12.30 and 1.30, so I was lucky to come in exactly at that time. Uh, yeah, so it's all good and there was no tree cutting in action. Um, but the views are nice, so yeah, gonna get through it. I can't complain though, the day so far was fine, and I expected that, so let's go.
I made my way through the Argyll and Butte region in Western Scotland and rode along many big lakes and the Argyll secret coast and I loved all the little roads uh, with uh, lots and up and down. Look at this, damn, it's the, uh, it's the end of the day now, um, I'm gonna look for a climbing spot soon and I'm looking forward to making some dinner and this is a real nice view to uh, end the day. Good morning, uh, this is how I sleep basically, because it's pretty cold, but uh, yeah, that's that's the best way to do it. Breakfast time. Toast, peanut butter, banana. Um, does the job. Tastes pretty good. Man, it is looking beautiful. Day two, and the sun is out. Skies are blue. Gonna be a great day, I think. So there is a ferry that I want to get. Comes in a half an hour. It's about seven kilometers. The next ferry comes one hour later. I don't want to wait in the cold. So yeah, it's a bit of a sprint. First thing in the morning. I can see my ferry down there. I hope I'll get it. <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Double down. yeah. So I'm on a, a ferry and uh, met this guy Hi. who's um, taking this uh, ferry to school every day Yeah. and today I'm a bit, bit late because I missed the first ferry so now I'll take this one so I'll get in school a bit late but you know yeah. it doesn't really matter So we're gonna be an hour late but well, that's alright <laughs> So it's now uh, half past 11 and I'm uh, leaving from the ferry and I'm trying to get to Oban today which is 110 kilometers so let's see if I make it. And you can see in the back all these pretty uh, pine tree woods and seems like they're gone here. Looks a bit sad to be honest. I came here expecting a lot of rain and it did rain tomorrow, um, it might do in the days to come but today is absolutely amazing. The sun has been shining all day long and the roads are really really good so uh, yeah this is really fun riding. I've lost my gloves. 
I must have forgot them some point where I took a break some uh, I just don't know how far back I have to go because these were good gloves so yeah I'm gonna have to ride back now oh it's been such a good day and now I found them ah uh, I left them in a village on a wall where I got some water that was like I think 15 kilometers lots of up and down and I'm <laughs> gonna have to do it all again oh uh, man it was a really good day up until this but uh yeah uh, at least I've got the gloves now man I'm finally back here again two hours later got my gloves but it's beautiful you know Sunset and blue skies and this camp spot couldn't get much better. The Highlands. 